Hey everybody, this is uh, Chris of Center 5 Outdoors. I want to do a quick little video on the set technology on the Elites. This specific video is going to be with the Remedy. Um, I messed around a little bit with this on my Resolve 36, and I really enjoy the ability to tune it on the fly. Like, I don't need a press, I don't need anything. I just simply loosen this. As you can see right there, loosen this, um, this bolt. Turn this to whatever, you know, left to right, whatever I need to do. It's on top and bottom. Lock it back in and shoot it and see what it does. So I've been able to toy with this a little bit on with through paper and at distance. So I wanted to do a video through paper and show you what it does from one extreme to the next. So right now everything's set right in the middle, just as you would get it, you know, from the factory. I I just eyeballed my center shot. So We'll see how it goes. Um, the 70 pound model is maxed on 72 pounds, ATA brace sights, that's all dead on. I'm shooting the RIP TKOs, the 300 spine arrows, 100 grain tip. Um, so it should be right in the wheelhouse of what it should be for spine consistency, or spine and arrow length. So let's see how it does. <clears throat> That's the first shot. It's actually pretty close to a bullet hole. At the gate. All right, so. This paper's kind of weird. So you got the, you know, the, the four, I got four flesh, so one, two, three, four. And I wrote the paper a little little hard right there on this corner but i don't know if that, that could just be the paper so all right hope i'm not making everybody sick by taking the camera back and forth just wanted to be able to show you guys a close-up picture of what everything looks like before we make the adjustment all right so like i said earlier you want to loosen this bolt, not this bolt, this bolt. Still, it's a locking bolt for this uh, this screw. All right. So I'm gonna go all the way left. So I want to go counterclockwise. All right. So I'm, I'm just gonna max out and see how far to go. It should be should go half a turn roughly. It's maxed out, it's about a half a turn. Tighten my lock, screw back up. Do the same thing on the bottom. Let's see how the second shot did. All right. You see it entered right there. The fletching's over here, so that's your knock side. So that's the tail right. All right. So, let's see what it does when you go the complete opposite direction. Your tear should be obviously going the opposite way. But, let's find out for sure. Again, loosen the lock nut, bolt chest, kind of the nut. Then we went tail left, which is kind of clockwise. Now we're gonna go go tail right, which is clockwise. Get one. 
full turn, really. Control the max out. Tighten this lock, time bit. The lock bolt back up. The same thing on the bottom. All right, well, there's the first shot, second shot, third shot. Kind of surprised it, you know, almost a perfect bullet hole. All right, well, so this is dead middle, all the way left, all the way right. Really surprised by this this one here, but so there you have it. That is the set technology in a nutshell. Um, so what I would do at this point, I would get the bullet hole, which is where it's sitting right now. I'd go out there, side in for 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, whatever you want to side in for. Then I would do a broadhead test or walk back test or Walk back tune. I shoot a 20, 30, 40, and see um, if I'm getting any left and right inconsistencies. Then I would make adjustments from there, get the broadheads tuned. Uh, I use fixed blades, which your tune really shows with a fixed blade broadhead. Um, so if you really want to know how good your tune is, put a fixed blade broadhead on there and step back to 40 yards to see how it shoots. So if you guys have any questions, let us know, and uh, I'll try to get back with you. And Till then, shoot straight.